and show you all what my good friend Lynette sent me. I am so stoked! Uh, she, for no other reason but the goodness of her heart, she sent me a, a picture the other day and said, look what you got coming your way. And, and it was this. And I was like, oh my god, no way! And yeah, she did. So let me show you what she sent me, okay? Uh, she sent me two of her prior Ipsy bags, which are excellent for me because I use these for my work and they're just, you know, who doesn't love more makeup bags? Okay, and then she sent me a spare iced latte that she had in the L'Oreal Infallibles. Apparently she had forgotten that she had one and picked up another and, and I do that all the friggin' time. So this is just one less of the Infallibles that I have to get. I already have like... I don't know, nine or ten of them, but uh, there are some of them that I've never even seen here in Helena. But that's that one. It's that beautiful champagne color. We see everybody talk about this one, so I think we all know which one it is. But So yeah, she sent me the ice latte, which I did not have, so that was cool. Okay, and then she sent me, out of one of her Starlux boxes, a pencil. And this is just called Amethyst. Now about this because I have a pen that I use from Laura Geller. It's called, uh, it's one of her Ink Credibles Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Purple Rain. And I use this and I learned this long ago that uh, if you take a light lilac color and put it in your inner, in your water line, you know, it makes your eyes bigger, it makes the white seem whiter, and I've been using this forever, and that is Laura Garrel's Purple Rain, okay, and then this one here is basically kind of the same color, but it's got a, a, a glitter or a metallic look to it, let me show y'all here in just a minute, I want to show you this beautiful thing, okay, and then there's the, that, yeah, and then there's the, um, Starlux pencil, I am so excited about this pencil. I can't remember the last time I was so excited about a pencil. I gotta tell you. I've been using it in my water rim when I, you know, on my water line when I do use it. I'm not using it today. I've got the um, NYX bone in, in there today. But when I do use the purple, that's what I use, which is almost always. So thank you. That was gorgeous. I loved it. I about crap myself when I seen the color. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, and then she sent me the Milani Rose Blushes, or Flower Blushes. These are special collections that, this is the second collection that they've done. They've got a prior one. There's only four in the collection, and now, of course, I've got to get the prior one. <laughs> I've got to, because I am actually building a shelf to sit right here that I can put all of my blushes in, so they're kind of displayed, you know? Anyways. Uh, she sent me the entire freaking collection. Look at this. Ah, so excited. Uh, let me show you these, okay? These are so beautiful. The first one and my favorite is Tea Rose. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful pink. Um, it's kind of a mauve color. Okay, and that is that one right there. And you seeing it? Yeah, you, you can see it, yeah. Okay, and then the second one is, and this is the one that I have on my cheeks now. And then the second one is Love Potion, which is kind of in the, in the pan, it looks like a mauve, but on your hand, it looks more pinky. It, it come, kind of comes off a little bit like a Milani's uh, um, Delizioso. It kind of comes off like that, but a little bit darker. And that's the bottom one right there. Okay. And then there is this gorgeous coral color. And I used the crap out of this one. I've been, you can see it's starting to get a little bit wore off on the top. Anyways, there's the Coral Cove. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Oh, look at that beautiful color. <laughs> okay, and then this one is her favorite, Lynette's favorite, and this is Lady Rouge. And this is deep, deep red. Um, well, not red on your cheeks, you know, but I've got to put it in my 
line of my wrist right there. And that's that last one. Just a beautiful, beautiful, cooler color. Oh, I just, I just love these so much. And I'm so excited, Lynette. Thank you so much. All you did here was make me have to get the other ones now. <laughs> I mean, how can I not? Now I need them all, right? And we'll continue to get them as long as they make them. Like if they come up with another one, I'll get it too. Mind, all of this blows my mind. I mean, this is... I don't need to tell you guys, these are 10 bucks a piece, okay? So that's 40 bucks right there. More than maybe if, I don't know what, you know, her locale, it might be more there. But here in Helena, this would have been 40 friggin' dollars, okay? And I don't know how much that uh, pencil cost. And that that isn't the point. I'm just, it's just that, it's just that she did it, you know? But then there's this. This is the Kevin Aquan tropical nights and i hope there's no fingerprints on it <laughs> constantly rubbing the prints off kevin aquan tropical nights celestial bronzer who does this look at that look at that it's so sleek you just push the button right here and it opens up really slowly if my finger wasn't there it's stopping it and it opens up all slow like a I, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. But it, it's awesome. <laughs> and that is the bronzer. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that ombre. Isn't that awesome? I I absolutely love this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Yeah, you can see it a little bit right there. And that is the beauty in it because this stuff here puts the most beautiful glow on my cheeks and without looking any kind of bronzerish, you know, no, no, it, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I've never owned one of Kevin Aquan's bronzers. I've had his mascara. I've had a few of his products, but never one of his bronzers. And bronzers are tight, kind of touch and go when you get older, you know, and this is just beautiful. It's, it's a bronzer, bronzer slash illuminator. And it is just so beautiful. It is so subtle and and subdued, and it's just gorgeous. And I just sit here and look at it. <laughs> I do. I sit here and look at it. I had to get her back the best I could anyways, and I was trying to think, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I boxed a bunch of stuff up and sent it to her. A couple palettes and... <laughs> And then I sent her, she was doing a Jordana, and I just did this the other day. Uh, she was doing a Jordana video, or a, a comparison video for her Milani blushes and a few other things. And she was showing some of her Jordana blushes. And she's like, um, I think there's a, she had six or seven, and she's like, I think there's missing three or four if anybody wants to do a trade. Or, you know, she kind of hinted around that maybe somebody would want to do some kind of a swap with her, you know, and she'd get those couple blushes she's missing out of the line. And these are the Jordana blushes. I only have two. What I did was when she said that, it was like the same day, I think, that I got this. Maybe, no, actually, I think it was before I got this even, but I knew it was coming. And she had hinted around that she wanted to find those other couple blushes. So I went on the Jordana website, and there wasn't a couple blushes. There was like 20 more apart from what she had. So she must have had five because there's only 25 Jordana blushes. Well, not only, that's a lot. But, so I ordered them all and had them mailed directly to her from Jordana. <laughs> so yeah, she got this huge haul of blushes in the mail. Now, I know the Jordana and they're only two and a half bucks a piece. And there's only two and a half grams of product in them. So these are excellent blushes, you guys. If you've never tried them, you have to pick you up some Jordana blushes. I mean, really, they have got the pigmentation is insane on them. And these are the only two that I have. Uh, I've got another one in here that I crushed. But uh, look at that. Ah! Isn't that gorgeous? That is, anyways, thank you, Lynette. I don't know how to thank you for your gifts. You are such a friggin' sweetheart. And all I can say is I hope you enjoy <laughs> your Jordan a lot. And I sent her... I think it wasn't there a couple eyeshadows in there too to so that you have the whole collection of the baked shadows. So yeah, I hope you enjoy yours as even just half as much as I'm enjoying mine. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, my dear. I love you so much. To everybody out there, I love you all. And I just want to tell you about this real quick because it deserved it.
Bye.